Pasta alla Dorana from Amalfi, Italy. So if you're in Amalfi in Italy, they have lots of beautiful produce everywhere. Tons of zucchini just like we do here. This was a very ingenious way to make a sauce for a pasta out of it. So we thought we would try it. It's very, very velvety and has that nice, very, very mild vegetable flavor. Beautiful dish. First, we'll cook the pasta. We need some of that pasta cooking water in order to build the sauce. So a pound of pasta here, bronze drawn if you can find it. That means that pasta was cut with bronze dyes and the surface area of the pasta is a little bit rougher than most commercial spaghetti. It releases a lot of starch into the water. And since we're using that as a base for our sauce, it's very important. I'll save a cup and a half of that water. We use that to build the sauce and to pull the whole dish together in the end. Now for our zucchini, it's about a pound and a half. You can use any size here. Cut the zucchini on a diagonal into very thin strips and then stack them up, cut crosswise into little matchstick forms. This may seem like a lot, but it will cook down Half of it is getting pureed and turned into pasta sauce. Once the pasta is drained, I want to flavor it mildly with garlic. I'm not a huge garlic fan, and this is a great way to put a mild bit of garlic in it without it overpowering the whole dish. I'm going to toast very briefly in a couple tablespoons of oil until it's just nice and brown and beginning to soften. Take it out. Now into the pot go our matzo zucchini. Just cooking those briefly, 10 to 12 minutes, in that garlic flavored oil until they soften up and begin to break down. You want a little bit of texture because half of it will leave in the pasta. Take half out, put it in a blender jar along with those garlic cloves and a half a cup of that pasta water we say. That is the base of our sauce. This will thicken it and make it very velvety and luscious. It's almost as if I added a half a cup of heavy cream to this. Add it back to the pot and toss it really well. Add more of the pasta water and we'll cook this briefly over low heat Add a couple tablespoons of butter and a good amount of pecorino cheese. Pecorino is nice and tangy and salty. It will bring this dish to life. You can add a fair amount of black pepper if you want a little spice or even some red chili flakes if you want it spicier. Really at this point you can flavor it as you like. And then we'll throw in a good handful of torn up basil. You can chop it up finely if you like but I like getting those big pieces of basil in a bite. Now that the pasta is very well coated we can plate it up, garnish with a little more grated fresh pecorino, and a drizzle of good olive oil. So there you have it. That's a six ingredient, beautiful pasta dish. Cheese, zucchini, garlic, pasta, basil. That's basically it.